So far, we've talked all things global load balancing on Google Cloud Platform. But how does this work with Google Kubernetes clusters running as backends? Well, stay tuned to find out. Since last time, Beyond Treats online business has still been booming. And while they upgraded to using Google's global load balancer, they also decided to move to a microservices environment for their web backend. But load balancers were initially built to support resource allocation for virtual machines, which helps workloads be highly available. When containers and container orchestrators started to take off, users adapted these VM-focused load balancers for their use, even though the performance was suboptimal. Traditionally, HTTPS load balancers targeting Kubernetes clusters would actually be targeting its nodes because they didn't have a way to recognize each pod. In the absence of a way to define a group of pods as backends, the load balancer used instance groups to group VMs as a backend. Ingress support in GKE using those instance groups used the HTTPS load balancer to perform load balancing to nodes in the cluster. IP table rules programmed on the nodes route requests to the pod serving as backends for the load balanced application. Load balancing to the nodes was the only option since the load balancer didn't recognize pods or containers as backends, resulting in imbalanced load and a suboptimal data path with additional unnecessary hops between nodes. But then Google came out with Network Endpoint Groups, or NEGS, abstraction layer that enables container-native load balancing. This means the load balancer has visibility into a Kubernetes cluster's pods because NEGS are integrated with the Kubernetes ingress controller running on GCP. In the case for Beyond Treat, they have a multi-tiered e-commerce deployment and want to expose one service to the internet using GKE. With NEGS, they can now provision an HTTPS load balancer, allowing them to configure path-based or host-based routing to their backend pods. All they have to do to get started is to create a VPC-native GKE cluster. By default, Kubernetes uses static routes for pod networking, which requires the Kubernetes control plane to maintain these routes to each node. But this comes at a scaling cost. In GKE, you have the option to create clusters in VPC native mode, which provides container native load balancing that uses the NEG model. VPC native mode means you have connectivity between all pods in your VPC without the overhead of route scaling. And traffic is evenly distributed among the available healthy backends in an endpoint group. Now that BeyondTreat has implemented a VPC native cluster with NEGS, they've experienced even better load balancing. With container native load balancing, traffic is distributed evenly among the available healthy backends in an endpoint group, following their defined load balancing algorithm. They also now have native support for health checking, including TCP, HTTPS, or HTTP2 checks. NEGS can check the pods directly rather than the nodes forwarding health checks to a random pod. As a result, health checks more accurately mirror the health of the backends. Beyond Treat also benefits from graceful termination, meaning when a pod is removed, the load balancer automatically drains the connection to the endpoint, serving traffic based on the connection draining period configured for it. And best yet, their pet lovers will experience their traffic hitting an optimal data path. With the ability to load balance directly to containers, the traffic hop from the load balancer to the node disappears, since load balancing is performed in a single step rather than two. And Beyond Treat now has increased visibility and security. Container-native load balancing helps them troubleshoot their services at the pod level. It can preserve the source IP to make it easier to trace back to the source of the traffic. Since the container sees the packet arrive from the load balancer rather than through a source NAT from another node, they can now create firewall rules using node-level network policies. It looks like Beyond Treat has gone from the popular local bakery to an international online bakery phenomenon. And its GCP backend has grown along with it. We learned about the load balancing options on GCP and proved that global load balancing is more performant and reliable than regional HTTPS load balancing. And finally, we showed you that even with GKE clusters, container native load balancing means they can target backend pods directly for optimal traffic distribution and improvements in scalability. All right, we've been talking about treats for weeks, and Bella still hasn't gotten to try any. Well, we can get her to try some. <laughs> That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Let us know how you're liking this series in the comments section and hit those like and subscribe buttons for more cool Google Cloud content.